Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video we are going to go through the process of step by step applying for uh, UK skilled worker visa. Before I proceed further, I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am government body. So this video is totally based on my knowledge research and whatever information I am showing you it is available online and my intention is to just to navigate you through the process and if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. Alright guys, so let's proceed. So guys we know that skilled worker visa has some requirements and this is the official site of it you have all the requirements listed here like you need to have a sponsorship from an approved employer you can stay up to five years and before you extend it your job must be eligible you need to have knowledge of english and all other things that you need okay so you have all the information here available here but we'll go through the application part so uh, here you gotta click start now Are you intending to leave one of the crown dependency of a kingdom? So, like, uh, uh, I just select no. Do you have a Swiss passport? I select no. You need to fill as per your case. So it is asking lo uh, you which kind of visa you want. So, let's say we go for this skilled worker visa. So, I select this. So, it is asking where you are going to provide your biometric. So I just selected India, click next. So again it is asking you to confirm, I confirm. So this for this like this uh, wizard, this form is to apply for uh, from outside of UK, okay. And you cannot add family members to this application. You must complete a separate form for your application. Okay, fine. It is telling you all the things that you required. Eligibility, required document, fee, certificate of sponsorship, how to apply. And also the steps. For your, fill the form. And you need to do this in, any, in English. Visa fee online. Then you need to uh, uh, book an appointment health surcharge and then biometric taken okay so let's click apply now so click on start a new application or if you have already saved click on open your application register an email so first step is to register your email and create your passport save and, and then uh, click save and continue i'm gonna do that and after that they send an email to you but here uh, it is asking like do you have certificate of sponsorship and reference number i'm gonna select yes and i'm gonna put a random number but i'm not sure it will be accepted or not let's see how it goes okay so let me try some combinations here i somehow managed to cross that screen but you need a valid certificate of sponsorship number next is like uh, now who does this say you okay i select you like the email address you take and whatever is the you put whatever is the correct answer select and click on save and continue it is asking if you have any additional email so if you have a provide if you don't you can select no telephone number okay You have this like only include numbers and for international number include the country code. Okay, so and uh, you will be able to add additional phone numbers also later on. But this is how it is now. So I'm just gonna put a sample number. It is asking like for while use out of UK mobile whatever is applicable in your case. Do that. Clicking save and continue. Add other phone number. I just select no. But if you have, why not to provide it? Are you able to contact it by phone, telephone, call, message, but uh, I select all, why not? Service update. Okay, name as per the passport document, so I'm just, uh, like you need to enter your name, that's all. It is asking if you have used any other name, if you have, do, otherwise if you don't have, you don't need to worry about. If you don't have, just click no and continue, that's what I'm doing relationship and uh, sex so whatever is that just provide the information 
I'm selecting single, but if you have uh, other situation, you can put that address, hmm. town, city, country. I select same. Yes, correspondence. Other, if you do know, you need to provide correspondence address. So I'm just going to put some sample. Then you get this screen. How long have you lived here? Let's say you own it and uh, years. I just select 15 years. Why not? What will have to be the passport? Okay, number, authority, date, expiry. As per your case, I'm just going to put some sample. The second is like country of issue or place of issue. So uh, make sure you it matches exactly what is on your passport. Click save and continue. Next it is asking about this. I select no, but if you have just provide. So this thing you can always get in your passport so you know basically right so just put that information I just put some sample but it should match with your passport other nationalities do you have any other nationality I select no whatever is applicable in your case but if you're from India India does not allow dual nationalities which language you prefer to use I select English English language assessment if you are applying for doctor, dentist, you have passed. Okay. Have you provided English language ab ability? I select no. What was applicable in UK? Qualification from a UK school. Degree taught in English. Yes country so I just select India whatever that can be. just sample uh, you need to enter as per your case next is it asking proof of your degree I mean in my case because I selected that situation okay now it is asking of family details about two of your parent okay so I just select with father I put a sample name so I'll provide a sample information here in the next page also it asks for the, uh, another parent name so first I entered his father name now I'm entering his mother name just a sample information next is asking do you have any family in in the UK like uh, immediate family grandparents spouse or civil partners family so I select no but Whatever is applicable in case, you're gonna do that. Where you will stay in the UK? I select no, but if you know, then click yes. Where do you plan to stay uh, in UK? So I'm just gonna put some sample values, but don't do it like that. <laughs> Next is UK travel history. Have you been to UK in past 10 years? I select no. UK visa application. Have you issued a visa to UK in past 10 years? I select no. Travel to Australia, Canada, New Zealand, USA, Switzerland, Europe or the European economic area. How many times have you visited the following places in the last 10 years? I select zero but whatever is applicable in your case, you are going to do that. World travel history. Have you been to any other countries in past 10 years? Do not include this. I select no. Whatever is applicable in your case, you do. And, if, and uh, we all know that if you have good travel history, it's always a positive indication. Your uh, planned travel information okay so i'm gonna put a date let's say two months from and i click on save and continue now it is asking for either you or any other country have you ever been refused visa refused entry refused permission refused asylum deported removed required to leave excluded or banned from entry i select no breach of uk immigration law have you ever entered uk me uh, illegally remained beyond the validity of your visa breached conditions <coughs> false information breached I select no. next is convictions and other penalties have you ever had falling in UK any other country no 
I select but whatever is applicable in your case do war crimes that okay next is this war crime in either piece of war time have you ever involved suspected involved in war crimes I just select no and you gotta check the box and it's better to read these activities or nations and view I select no but read it out understand what does it mean and then answer extremist organizations and view I select no person of good character have you as part of another undertaken period of paid activity they dangerous international security no with that mind you may not be considered a person of good character behavior your employment history have you ever worked in any type of organization armed forces government intelligence or security media judiciary okay sponsor license number okay again I think this could be a roadblock for me because I don't know this but I'm gonna put some sample and see if I can cross through this screen so guys unfortunately I'm not able to get through this because I don't have this reference number but I guess uh, you know the process right I have already shown you then it comes with the documents document checklist was above declaration pay and then further actions we have discussed all these parts so we are at the end of this almost but uh, because of this roadblock I cannot go process it but I, I, I think I have shown you the process so thanks for watching this guys and please subscribe to the channel